Saint Gemma Galgani, the beautiful young saint, mystic and stigmatic whose memorial we celebrate today, is someone who has saved my life, someone who has protected me, someone through whom I received a miraculous healing that has given me a second chance. So I wanted to share the story of Saint Gemma's intercession. It was a year and a half ago uh, the night of December 26, I was driving from Steubenville to Chicago. It was an icy, icy night, uh, empty highways as Christmas was just celebrated. I was trying to get home to see family. And I, I remember that I was inspired to begin to pray the rosary. And I started praying the whole rosary, pray the joyful, the sorrowful, the luminous, the glorious mysteries. And I felt a deep warmth after the rosary, our mother's protection. And shortly thereafter, driving on a 60 plus highway, a car came right in front of me from a side road. He had a stop sign, but the ice took him right in front of me. He wasn't able to stop. I tried to swerve. It was too late. I nailed the car and then went into a ditch and then hit a pole. It was a huge accident. My car was absolutely destroyed and shattered. Um, immense pain uh, ran up my spine. And praise God, the other driver was okay. Um, as he came over a few minutes later to unhinge my door, see whether I was okay. You know, I said, I think so, but let me check because I, I feel immense back pain. Let me check whether I can walk. So I stepped out of the car and praise God, I was able to walk, but there was this immense pain that just shot up my spine. And um, they took me to a hospital nearby, ambulance showed up. Um, after numerous tests and x-rays, it was shown that I have a fractured spine. Um, judging by the accident, by the speed of the collision, by how absolutely wrecked and destroyed my car was, um, I was told that I'm fortunate to be alive. I was told that I'm fortunate that I'm not paralyzed. And something happened. You know, I started texting friends about the accident who are prayer warriors asking for their prayers. One of my friends who receives um, mystical insights texted me and she said that Our Lady showed her in her prayer that Saint Gemma Galgani was close to me during the accidents. What this friend didn't know is that literally in my coat pockets I had a first class relic of Saint Gemma with me. The one relic out of all the saints in the entire church, the thousands of saints, uh, she named the one that I had. So literally, Gemma was there with me. And what my friends also didn't know is that Saint Gemma, among other causes, is the patron saint of spinal injuries. Patron saint of spinal injuries because she was miraculously healed by Jesus of a spinal injury during her lifetime. And by then, you know, my spine, it feels horrible, right? Uh, getting home um, after the hospital, um, movement became very difficult. Getting up felt immensely painful. Sitting down pain, uh, felt painful. Bending over to make the genuflections of celebrating Mass seemed impossible. It was excruciating. At times it felt like getting out of bed was impossible. Sometimes it took me three to seven minutes just to physically get out of bed. It was so difficult. So the healing process was going to take a few months, I was told. But literally, just a few days later, three or four days, I am at a restaurant with a friend visiting with him, and he's a lifelong skeptic. And at one point in the conversation, he says to me, out of the blue, just speaking about Christianity in general, he says to me, my friends, 
I would have to see a miraculous healing to believe in God. Be careful what you wish for. I drove back uh, to my uh, family home, my parents' house uh, that evening. It took me a couple minutes of standing in the dining room to realize something. The pain was completely gone. The pain was gone. I realized I can bend over, I can touch my, my toes, I can literally stretch, I can do things that I wasn't able to do. I went into my mother's room who was on the phone, she was speaking with her friends. I whispered into her ear and I said, Mom, look, Jesus healed me. I touched my toes, I started stretching, showing her that the pain is gone and it happened. It literally happened. It was a miraculous healing through St. Gemma's intercession, the patron saints of spinal injuries who was with me during that accident, who protected me. Also, I would say through Our Lady's intercession, her rosary protecting me. And of course, the healing comes through the power of Jesus Christ, through his grace. And you know what was one of the most remarkable things about the healing for me? It was this fact. It was the fact that I didn't ask for it. When the accident happened and the pain was transpiring, I said to our Lord and Our Lady, okay, I'm going to offer this pain, this new experience of a spinal fracture for you, for your reparations to your sacred heart, to your immaculate heart, for the conversion of sinners. Now I have a gift to offer, the physical suffering becoming a gift that I can offer to our Lord and Our Lady. But the Father, the Holy Father, Eternal Father, our God, in His goodness said, No, I am healing my Son. And the healing, believe it or not, also existed on an emotional, spiritual level. Sometimes because of experiences uh, of growing up, I had difficulty, you know, finding a relationship or love with God the Father. It was always easier for me to connect with Our Lady and Jesus as the Son, even the Holy Spirit. But the Father was difficult. But I never felt the love of the Father as intensely as I did then, realizing that He didn't have to do this, but He offered His Son the gift of healing. One of my friends said to me, I saw that car, I saw that picture, you should be dead. You had a resurrection experience. If I were you, I would be grateful for every moment, every breath, every person that I meet, because Jesus resurrected you. And months after the accident, that was the reality. I felt this immense euphoria, this lightness, this fearlessness, this love of every person and every situation. Even if the situation was difficult, even if it was abrasive, there was a part of me that felt appreciation that I could be in it, that I can experience passion, that I can experience human emotion, that I had a second chance at life. So I want to give praise to God for the healing. I want to give praise to Our Lady, the intercession of her Holy Rosary that protects, that guides, her comfort, her mantle, and beloved Saint Gemma, whose memorial is celebrated today. Beautiful young saint. Read her biography, read her autobiography, read her, her entries, how she received the stigmata of Jesus, the supernatural wounds, read about her healing from the spinal injury, from her own spinal injury by uh, Jesus' grace. I'll include in the link a website to, uh, to more information on St. Gemma, a great website, and I ask you to say a prayer of intercession to her today and just to honor her. Beautiful, beautiful soul, beautiful young mystic, stigmatic, a uh, lover of Jesus Christ who suffered for him, true example of crucified love, and somebody who has been by my side, remains by my side, and it's just a uh, tremendous gift who I am immensely, immensely grateful for. God bless you.